This episode of Let's Play brought to you by the Toon Link and Toon Zelda Twin Pack. These guys are going to be fun in the game. I, I already know it. Hey gang, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Breath of the Wild. So the first thing you may notice is that uh, there is no picture of me on the screen, and that is because of one of many things that happened. Um, it could be that my cats accidentally deleted it uh, mid-recording and I had no way of getting it back, or I just simply forgot to record it by myself. But, so here we are back at Tal and Neg Shrine, and the first thing I do is I see this cool looking bunny and I shoot it with an arrow. Because it gives me money. It's a money bunny. And that's what I call it. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, this, this whole episode for the most part is going to be me just commentating on footage that's already recorded. And I'm going to do my best to, uh, try and maintain the level of, um newness that I experienced while also providing uh, insights as to what the heck it was I did. So the first thing I decided to do was go uh, find the Great Fairy's uh, Fountain as opposed to diving right into the shrine. And then we, s we see something over here. And uh, well, obviously there are fairies, so we have to go capture those first because we need auto revival stuff. So grab one fairy, yoink. Uh, I guess I don't decide to go for that fairy that's right in front of me. All right. We're gonna go for the blue nightshade. Scare away that fairy. Good job, Puss. Good job, Richard. You dumbo. Gather up some blue nightshade. And then we find Silent Princess. Um, so now we have a place where we can actually gather that. The first time I grabbed Silent Princess was, uh, out of an amiibo drop. So, that's why it didn't, like, come up suddenly and say, Hey, good job, you found Silent Princess. So anyways, we got our Silent Princess, we got a bunch of Blue Nightshade, and we're gonna just try and nab the rest of these fairies, because it never hurts to have, you know, a million fairies on hand. So we got all our fairies, and we're gonna step up here to this big cabbage, spiked cabbage thing. Boy. It's a very scary sounding. Sweet boy, please, listen to my story. Okay. I am the great fairy Cortera. Cotera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg you your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. And then the hand just pops out. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me, quickly. Frightening giant woman inside of a spiked onion. Yep, we're just gonna give her the rupees. We pull them out, and she just snatches us, snatches them from us. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, oh, the power! It's overflowing. So yeah, this is the great fairy, guys. Just as frightening as ever. I mean, she's not terribly frightening. She's actually rather beautiful in this game, but. The Great Fairy has always been, like, just a slightly frightening. Oh, what a feeling. The first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. So this is where we discover that we can enhance our clothing. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Enhance away. What clothing I would, you, would you like me to enhance? So, we also learn that the items that we've gotten from the amiibos can be, a, can be enhanced. And they require the gemstones. So, so it's a good thing I've been hanging on to those. To those. But they also require star fragments, of which I have very little. And the only other thing that we can enhance is the Hylian Trousers. And they don't require <laughs> star fragments. So ultimately, I will decide to enhance the Hylian Trousers. Because I just, 
I don't want to use up star fragments yet. They could have a purpose in the future. So go ahead and select those Hylian trousers past me. Ah. Yep, there we go. Only Bacoblin horns and Hylian trousers. Mm. And we'll get an upgrade from three to five. <sighs> She's gonna blow her magic fairy dust on me. Rum, ba, 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 ba. All right, and there we go. Hylian trousers have been upgraded. All finished, just a bit stronger now. You've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes can have that have all been enhanced twice can have a bonus. But only if you wear the whole set. And, well, not all sets have a bonus. Do you want me to enhance any of your other clothes? I think I can... Yeah, I, I jump in again just to see if the other things can be enhanced. And for some reason, the warm doublet can't be enhanced, which is a little silly. I understand the well-worn trousers and the old shirt not being enhanceable, Aww. but the warm doublet, uh, that should be enhanceable. <laughs> and she just falls back into her water pit. A frightening giant woman. We'll just slap on those Hylian trousers, get a bit more defense. Oh yeah, and the, the Nintendo Switch shirt can't be enhanced either, so... Just grips with her hand. Welcome back, boy. Do you want me to enhance your clothes? Enhance it a little bit. Enhance away. Ah, yes. Can't enhance those anymore because reasons. There are other great fairies that we need to find. And here I'm just weighing my options, but then I decide not to. Bye, great fairy. So anyways, what do I do from here? I think, yeah, I decide to uh, delve deeper into the woods because there was that other thing that we saw in the previous episode that drew me over here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to delve deeper into the woods, see what we're going to find, collect some items along the way. Um, yeah, just doing some stuff. Now, why did I pull up Magnesis? Maybe past me saw something that current me hasn't seen. Excuse me, goat. Oh, that's what I saw. I saw that Korok puzzle. Good job, past me. So yeah, we're gonna solve this Korok puzzle, get ourselves another Korok seed. Because Korok seeds, man. You gotta have that inventory expansion. Having a little trouble getting it in the slot. But there we go. Korok. Yeah. Booyah. 37 Korok seeds. So yeah, we're just moving along. Lanaryu Road, the West Gate. So we've we've come across into a different area. And there's uh, there's a traveler up ahead of us. As well as a Korok flower up there. And now it's started raining. But we're going to give this guy a talking to. I can tell you trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with a sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? And we've heard previously that the Yiga clan is bad news. The Yiga clan. It's a powerful, brave group of warriors. Founded by Master Koga and dedicated to feeding a hero the long thought dead. Ooh. I will take your life. And that's when we find out we are under attack. Yeah, this guy was a toughie. And, you know. Oh, good job, past me. I've never been able to do that again. Poof, get out of here with your face. Pick up a bunch of rubies. Some mighty bananas as well. Just, you know, do a bit of exploring. Rain's coming down, so I think I'm going to try and go for that Korok flower. Yep, certainly am. But because it's raining, I've got to find a, a good path to climb up on. Because the rain's going to make me slip. So there we go. Over there. Up 
here down there. Boop. Where did it go this time? And now uh, I'm assaulted by bokoblins. Undead bokoblins, to be precise. So I've lost my boomerang. It's a good thing I have a bunch of other weapons. And we shall definitely defeat those bokoblins. And then I throw Magnesis on just so I can find my boomerang again. Gather up the bokoblin horns and bokoblin fangs. Yeah, and now I basically have to wait for the rain to subside before I can uh, get that Korok seed. Rain, just making me waste time. Do I try and find an alternate route? I guess I do. Smart job, Richard. Uh, nope. Not gonna make it up that way, apparently. Just trying all the tricks I can. Letting... Letting go before the rain makes me drop, regaining my stamina, running up the side of the wall. Every trick in the book I can harness, I'm trying to get up the side of this wall in the rain. But doesn't appear it's working right now. I can tell I'm getting frustrated because I myself am getting frustrated right now. <laughs> the rain is about to let up though, so... On the plus side, there is that. But I... Do I give up? No, I don't give up that easily. Come on, I'm Richard. I think basically I'm just gonna run around and... Yeah, Apona can't hear me. Because she's all the way back in Kakriko Village. Basically my only option is to wait for this, this uh, storm to subside. Be fine down there. Uh, a fire that went out suddenly and mysteriously. And basically, we're just waiting for the rain to to end, so I can grab this seed. And now it is ending, so we can go ahead and grab grab the seed. Any day now. All right, there we go. Grabbing Korok Seed with final jump. Yep, there it is. Bye bye. All right. So from here, uh, we've we've strayed away a bit. So we're just gonna travel back to the shrine by the Great Fairy Fountain. And I think we're actually going to do the shrine next. Probably. I don't know. We'll see what I do. <sighs> Just be sure to read all the tips, guys. You can never go without some good tips. Kalo Nyag Shrine. And here we go, down into the shrine. What mysteries await us? Let us find out. Cryosis. Use this power to create a pillar of ice on the water surface. Such pillars can be used for lifting objects or climbing. Special bows that fire multiple arrows at once. One thing, a cool thing that I... Oh, bumped the microphone. One cool thing I did, did figure out about uh, Cryosis is that you can use it on waterfalls to create um, pillars that stick out from the side so you can climb up waterfalls that way. And that's the coolest thing. You who set foot in the shrine, I'm Talonig. I share with you my knowledge and plea of uh, something about Hylia. I didn't read it all the last time either. So we got Talonig's teachings. We've got ourselves two treasure chests that we're obviously going to open. We've got an eightfold blade, but our inventory is full, of course. 
Yeah, and obviously we're just gonna toss this Bacoblin arm. We don't need that. Not when we've got an eightfold blade at our. Oh, I guess I just leave it behind. Huh. Okay. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Apparently, I don't need that either. So here we go. And it's one of those guardian things, and it's got a sword. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This was create an opening that you can use to strike back. And so here we learn that uh, Taonaeg's teachings is teaching us about um, critical dodges and critical blocks. So he can do things like flurry rushes. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. And so we do. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Perfect guard. This one is a tough one. But I get it on the first go. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. As if no one knew about the charge attacks after playing hundreds of games of Zelda. And there we go. It's a good thing I saved space in my inventory, because now I get that guardian sword. You've done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. And at that point, I thought I needed to toss the sword to get that other one, but I didn't. So now we get to find out what's in this treasure chest. And we got an opal. All right. And there we go. That is another spirit orb. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of high rule, a hero arises. In the name of Goddess Highly, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit orb. Delicious spirit orbs. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Four spirit orbs. And now we have enough for another uh, heart container or maybe some new stamina. May the goddess smile upon you. And now we learn about charge attacks. Luring fish. Tossing ingredients that serve as bait in your fish in the water will attract them. Different banks works differently on different fish. Alright, here we are back in Kakariko Village. And obviously the first thing we're going to do is go get some health or stamina. All right, and yeah, I went with a stamina wheel because I already have a heart. Might as well get a bit more stamina. Always helps in those climbs that are just a little bit too tall, too long for me. There we go. The size of your stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more atta charge attacks or climb more, or swim more, or blah, 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 blah. So there we go. Because, you know, I already got a heart. I might as well get a stamina. Pardon me. So we're going to call our horse over. Opona, that is. And from here, what do I do? <laughs> Opona. 
Pono apparently has a problem moving. Oh yeah, we're gonna figure out what's down that way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see this path and I'm like, well wait, wait a minute, if that's the way out, then what's down this way? So let's go take a look-see. Obviously we can see Hyrule Castle again. We can't climb that. Or maybe we can, I don't know. It's been a bit. There we can see the shrine that we saw in the last episode. And we can see another shrine out in the distance as well. Already marked that one. And there's a tower way off in the distance as well. But am I gonna mark that shrine instead? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Just wondering what was taking you so long, Richard. There's a sparkly thing right there. Oh, but I also see the bug. Good eyes, Richard. And we have an iron sledgehammer. Yeah, I definitely want that iron sledgehammer because it's it's good to keep something around that can effectively open uh, or break open, what are they called? Ore deposits. So, obviously when I find Hetsu again, I'm going to need a lot more weapon things because there are lots of things that I want to keep in my inventory at this point in time. A torch, a Korok leaf, an iron mallet, just very various tools in general that'll help me in my adventure. Uh, for so the the torch for having a fire handy in uh, like the cold or whatever. Uh, the korok leaf for when I need to uh, use a boat, and because there have been times where I've like, hey, there's a boat, but oh no, I don't have a korok leaf, or hey, I don't have space for a korok leaf. So I need a spot for that, and then I'm going to need a spot for an iron mallet so that I can effectively uh, mine ore from rocks. So let's see, where are we going up here? Probably just to check out the area, because I'm pretty, because I feel like there's secrets and stuff that need to be checked out. Maybe just get a better look at Hyrule Castle. There's Death Mountain, as always. There's a tower, and there's a shrine way over there, too. What am I thinking right now? Uh, uh, apparently I'm thinking that I just need to climb this mountain here. So, yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna climb this mountain. Appreciating greatly my increased stamina wheel. But even so, I need to learn to not jump so much. Jump. Good. <laughs> Stop worrying me past, Richard. Oh, there's some more Silent Princess. Excellent. So, here we have another place to find some Silent Princess. Along with a bunch of Blue Nightshade. So, yeah, I guess just a bunch of blue nightshade. But there's a thing right there, Richard. Get it. Jeez, come on. <laughs> Post-production, I see so many things that I always want, that I'm always like, why didn't you see that before, Richard? Could have saved yourself so much time. Apparently, I... <laughs> Did you get the stuff, Richard? Oh, my God. Okay, so, yeah, my eyes were... Wait, hold on. There oh, that's the Great Fairy Fountain. Okay. So, yeah. I noticed the thing over there. I know that's the Great Fairy Fountain. So, I see the thing over there that originally drew me to this location. So, we're definitely going to go check that thing out. And we're definitely going to make it. So, what we have here is this strange pedestal with a circle in the middle. Now, at the time of this recording, I didn't know what that was. But I have since discovered 
You need to put those, uh, well, obviously, I try a bomb in it, and that doesn't work. But I have since discovered, uh, you need to put, like, those, those Sheikah orb things in it. So, and I didn't know this at the time. Uh, ooh, and there's another money bunny. Obviously, I'm going to go for that. I like how I'm pretend, like, how I think being silent right now is going to help me in the past. And, oh, got the money bunny. All right. Yay, money. Yeah, I definitely need to find more money bunnies and start extracting all the money out of their delicious bodies. So yeah, uh, we have no idea what this circle thing is or how to activate it right now. I do in, in my time right now. Of course, it starts raining. Um, in my time now, I do know how to mess with that thing, but I don't know how to get the orb up to it that I need to get up to it. Of course, I see some fish that I'm going to grab. Staminoka bass, to be precise, and a couple Hyrule bass, so we're going to grab those because Staminoka bass... <laughs> Definitely help with stamina recovery. And that is a good thing. So here we are back in Kakruka Village. And... What is it I decide to do, even? I know eventually I decide to start shrine hopping. Oh, I guess it's now. I'm deciding to go shrine hopping. Ah, uh, yes. So, um, you guys remember that shrine that I couldn't solve that one time? I'm going to go show you how to solve it. Because when I was, when I was uh, editing the video footage for it, I saw what I needed to do. And at like same thing as I'm talking about here, like how I see things that past me didn't, and I'm like, why didn't you see that? Do it. The same thing happened in this instance. I saw what I needed to do, and I was like, past me, why didn't you do this thing? And so now I'm going to go do it. Show you guys how to uh, do this shrine, because it's really simple. Like, it's super simple, and I don't know why I didn't see it. So here we go. As long as Wolf Link doesn't run out of hearts, you can summon him as many times as you want in a single day. And that's really good to know. And it's a good thing that you can recover his hearts perpetually. As long as you've got food to feed him, he can stay at max health. I don't really use him that much, though. So here we are. Metal doors open the way. Gonna go defeat ourselves one of these guardian things, because they are not tough at all. Oh, good! Dodge, Link! Of course my Eightfold Blade breaks as soon as I need it. But at least I get a guardian spear in exchange. So here we go. On over here to defeat the second one. And show you guys what we need to do, if you haven't seen it already. Yeah, I switch over to my Eightfold Blade, because I don't want to use my... Good block length, jeez. So we're going to destroy this guy. We're going to collect his innards. Alright, so you guys see uh, these blocks here that are all cracked and stuff that you can't climb on? Yeah, you just need a bomb. <laughs> it's that simple. Not even joking. You, you pull the... You blow up the the wall you don't blow yourself up in the process and then boom you have yourself a door that you can pull and there you go that's how you solve the shrine and you just use this door to traverse the the things it's that simple and i don't know why i didn't notice notice it before so there we go we're gonna jump on this, that improvised bridge that we just made for ourselves. Gonna magnetize it again, move it over this way so we have a new improvised bridge to get up here to this treasure chest that we obviously want. 
We're going to see if we can't blow these up first because, you know, why not? Can't blow them up. Can't climb them. So back to Magnesis. And we're just going to pull that sucker off. Drop him. Boom. Open that chest. And it's an opal. So, at this point, uh, my cat does something stupid and steps on my keyboard, and that may have been the thing that caused me to lose my video footage. It could be the fact that I just didn't even record my face in the first place, but it was that act that caused me to realize that I was, in fact, missing uh, face footage. So, uh, yeah, and we, we, figure out th we figure that's a problem. So, I investigate the system folder and find out that all autosaves and any... Uh, hard saves that I have don't even go to back before I started this recording. So my solution is to just start a, a new recording right then and there and start with face footage. And that's where we're going to pick up. And now we're back with me commentating. So, uh, yeah, and that's how we solved the shrine. Sorry about that. I already explained to you what happened. works for me. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Halia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, and that's how we solve that shrine. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully next time I'll actually remember to record my face for all but the last minute or so of the thing. So until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye.